Okay, today we wanted to make a quick video about how to do sign or logo removal using HipFilm Pro. Uh, this works best if for, um, this applies to if you're working from uh, with a stationary or locked shot. So let's get started. So the first thing you do is you start, uh, you go into HipFilm Pro and you start compositing. We're just using the default settings. And of course, the first thing you gotta do is import your media. So in this case, we wanna remove the Starbucks logo from the side of this building. Um, so then what we do is we drag it onto the timeline and then what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in a little bit You got to click that finger to then kind of center it there like that and then click back once you get it there um, Then uh, then what you're going to do is go into a new layer and you're going to create a plane And we're going to rename this to source so that we're going to first define the area that we're going to uh, clone from and we're going to just set this for 300 to make the plane more manageable when we bring it in. And then we go OK. And there's the plane right over there. So then we're going to go into our transform settings and set the opacity to zero so we can see through it. Next, what we're going to do is we click that to get control of the it. And this is probably the most difficult part of the whole thing is we want to resize the plane around the area that we want to re remove the logo from. And we want to make the area that we're defining a little bit bigger than the logo or the item that we're trying to remove. So this takes a little bit of playing around. We don't have a lot of room to work with, but then we go in here into rotation and we're gonna tilt it so we're in a better orientation. And so we wanna get um, enough area to remove not only the Starbucks coffee, but also create a little extra space around it so that when we go to feather it, we're not actually feathering into what we're trying to remove. So this was, I would say, this was the most tedious part of this whole process is just trying to uh, finesse it and resize it to get it just right. And I think right about there we're, we're pretty good. So this is defining the size of the area that we want to clone. And we use the area that we want to remove as the basis for that. Then we drag it to where we're going to clone from. So we're going to take this area and basically copy it and paste it over this, uh, the Starbucks logo. Then what we do is we need to create a point, and what this, this is going to do is create a target that the source is going to be pinned to. So that's all that's doing right there is we create a point and it's creating a target. And now we go into effects and we type in clone and there's the clone stamp tool right there. And then we simply drag it onto our video track. Now we open up the clone stamp tool and the first thing we see is our clone mask and we select the source. Then we go to clone from and we're going to set, leave it at current layer and frame. And then we go to the source and we're going to choose source for the layer. Now we're going to go into target and here we're going to check new point. Now you notice you can still see the logo so what you got to do is come into where it says mask blur and then just adjust it. Now what you're also going to have to do is go into the point and, and move it over a little bit because the point's not exactly where it needs to be. Now, it's not exactly 100% perfect. I can see a little bit of the outline, but uh, for this shot, which is only going to be for about five seconds on the screen, nobody would notice, and even if they did, they wouldn't know if that's not how it was supposed to be. So the clone stamp is a very quick and effective way to get rid of a sign or logo. So I hope you found this helpful. And uh, what I'll do is I'll leave you with uh, the closing shot of what we finally ended up with. And the other thing I'd like to say is uh, thank you to everyone that subscribed to our channel. We were actually uh, affected by the uh, adpocalypse where YouTube says you need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in the last 12 months. And um, so we're, um, we're a little discouraged because we were making not a lot of money off this channel, but a little bit. And so if, you, if you're not subscribed and, and you find these videos helpful, please subscribe. So thank you very much and have a great day.